What is up YouTube, what's up Jet Nation, Sean back with another episode on the Jet Show, happy to be back with you guys. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about the Denzel Mims uh, news, requesting a trade, and what I think about it, uh, but before we get into that, if you guys could hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, uh, hit that like button, uh, thumbs up, notification bell, so you can get notified when my next video drops. Uh, also, leave a comment down below, love to hear from you guys, love the interaction and everything like that. Love to hear what you guys think of my videos. So, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the Denzel Mims trade request. Obviously, the other day his agent came out, um, requested that the Jets uh, trade him after saying like he's done everything right. Um, he's done everything the team's asked him for, and he hasn't really been given an opportunity um, to play a lot with the first team, um, or even practice with the first team a lot. Um, and, you know, they know that the Jets have always done right by Denzel, and that they're going to, you know, they hope they would do the same moving forward. Um, you know, you guys know from a lot of my previous videos, I'm a huge Denzel Mims fan. Um, I really like the guy coming out of Baylor. Uh, I was super thrilled that he dropped and we were able to trade down and still grab him in the, the latter half of the second round a couple of years ago. Um, uh, obviously, you know, a lot of things have gone against this guy. He had a really tough first year getting injured in training camp, learning a new system. He was a little bit raw uh, coming into the league to begin with. Uh, then last year having the stomach problem, another injury, got buried on the depth chart. It, it was just... Last year was a really bad year for the guy, um, so that's you know, that was really disappointing. But I know he has a lot of talent, guys. Um, there ain't too many guys that are six three and can and run the way he does. Uh, so I felt like maybe he wasn't as polished a route runner as maybe you would like in this offensive scheme. But I figured this year with a full off season to kind of develop him, uh, get him right, learn the playbook a little bit better, he'd be a little more prepared and be able to make some more plays for this team get on the field, show what he's got, um, and be an option in the future. You know, my thought process, uh, and I've said this in other videos, is I want to keep Denzel around. Um, a lot of people talk about trading him and things like that. Uh, I wanted to keep him around because of the young core we have. Um, yeah, he's, I guess, the number five receiver on the roster right now behind Garrett Wilson, Elijah Moore, Corey Davis, and Braxton Berrios. Um, but he adds a different dimension. Um, he's got that height-speed combination, which I don't really feel that the other guys have. Um, and, you know, Corey Davis only has one more year on his contract after this year. Uh, he could very well be a cap casualty. We don't know what's going to happen next year. Some of these younger players could be looking for extensions next year. Quinn Williams is going to be potentially looking for a big extension next year. If he performs the way I think he's going to, um, you know, you're going to have to pay him a lot of money. Where are we getting the money from? You know, another guy, Carl Lawson's got one year left on his deal, but I think Carl Lawson could be so good this year, um, even coming off the injury, he looks great in training camp that it's going to be hard to cut a guy like that. But at the wide receiver position, when we have Elijah Moore, let's say, you know, I think Garrett Wilson's going to be phenomenal. Well, let's say he slowly grows as a player this year and looks like he can be a number one. Him and Elijah Moore paired together are, are great one two punch at the wide receiver position. You know, Berrios, I don't really look at as a starter. Um, if we have to cut that or trade Corey Davis at that point, Denzel Mims can step in and be that, um, you know, third wide receiver, um, number three wide receiver. And obviously, not number three in terms of playing in the slot, but you move Elijah Moore into the slot, um, you know, on, on three receiver sets, bring uh, Denzel in on the outside. Um, and I was hoping to see enough out of Denzel this year um, that we could, you know, we, we have flexibility going into next year's offseason with the wide receiver positions specifically. Um, and what we want to do with Corey Davis. Um, that being said, I mean, he could request a trade all he wants. He's under contract for another year, so unless the Jets get like a spectacular offer, like a third round pick for him, I ain't even considering trading him. I would not consider trading him at all for a fifth or, or later, fifth round pick or later. Um, I may consider it for a fourth round pick, um, but it, it depends on, on, the, on the situation. 
um, what team it is and everything like that. Um, but it would have to probably be a third. So um, that's my thought process. I mean, in terms of a couple teams that may be looking to trade for, maybe the Bears, uh, that's the first team to me that comes to mind. I think the Jaguars would, would probably consider trading for him. They could use another wide receiver. I've heard the Cowboys floating around out there. I, I, I don't see that really at all. Um, just, I, 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 you know, I think that's kind of smoke and mirrors there. Uh, maybe Denzel's agent or something like that. But, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Would you trade him? Would you keep him? Would you cut him? Um, you know, what do you guys think? And, and if you were going to trade him, who do you think the most likely team is that would step in and be a trade partner for the Jets? Uh, because we all know Joe Douglas has won every trade he's made since he's been Jets GM. Phenomenal value back in trades. He's been fleecing these teams. You know, does anybody want to trade with him and get fleeced? Because um, they might. So that's another thing to consider. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.